Redskins and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and we are ready to go. It's on. That's right. I said it's on. Average people don't get this far in life. We're businessmen. Come here and take care of business. And the business is to win. Win on three. One, two, three, win. In a typical NFC playoff slugfest, neither team found the end zone for 30 minutes. But the second half was a different story. Mitchell, far side, 10, 15, 20. He's gone. 25, 30, 35. Pass for Manica. He's at midfield. Can he outrun him? He's going to the 30. He's going to the 20. He's going to the 10. He's going for a touchdown. Washington Redskins. With the championship game seemingly within their grasp, Lady Luck turned her back on the Redskins, and a flurry of fluke plays dismantled Washington's lead. Here he comes on the run. To the right, held up in the backfield. Oh, reverses his field, turns the corner, and goes in for the touchdown. They had him stopped. Fate was bouncing as erratically as the football. The Redskins mounted a gallant drive before one final touch of misfortune befell them. All they need to do is get it in Brett Conway's range. He's back, throws it in the flat, and gets down to the 41 yard line. This is for a trip to the championship game. Low snap, bad snap, and the Redskins are going to lose this game. The team said goodbye to the season, but not to their Super Bowl aspirations, which remain undiminished. For truly great teams thrive on disappointment as a mirror for their character. To fully comprehend Washington's return to glory, one must remember the struggles of the previous seasons, years which laid the foundation upon which this mighty franchise now stands on the brink of an NFL title. was not a problem in the season opener against traditional rival Dallas. Halfback Stephen Davis ran for over 100 yards and two touchdowns, while new quarterback Brad Johnson quickly got acquainted with his talented targets. Brad Johnson all day, going deep for Westbrook, got him in the end zone, caught, touchdown! There it is! Sets going deep into traffic. But 35 points were not enough in a gut-wrenching overtime defeat. Disappointed but undaunted, the Redskins traveled to the Meadowlands, secure in the knowledge that they had found the workhorse back they had been lacking. Here comes Davis up over the middle, walks in, touchdown, Washington Redskins. Oh, that's a beautiful play. Davis, left side, spins around into the end zone, touchdown. Another power drive by Stephen Davis. Here's the run. Davis still on his feet, breaks the tackle, goes to the far side. He's going in. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. Oh, that's a great run by Stephen Davis. Yes, he run. Stephen Davis wasn't responsible for all of the scoring as Brad Johnson tossed three himself and the 50 Redskin points were the most ever yielded by New York in Giant Stadium. And while Stephen Alexander's second touchdown wrapped up the scoring barrage, it was Davis who had established himself as the Redskins' international man of no mystery. Just give him the ball and he'll find the end zone. In his first campaign as starting halfback, number 48 had his mojo working. And despite missing two regular season games, set a team record with over 1,400 yards. Davis was grooving all season, displaying the speed necessary to beat defenses outside and the power to run between the tackles, leading the league in scoring with 17 touchdowns. Over the right side, touchdown! 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 Washington, Washington Redskins! Stephen Davis! Stephen Davis!
Stephen Davis. Big run by Stephen Davis. Corey Raymer centered an offensive line that far exceeded expectations in 99 and surprisingly became one of the team's biggest strengths. Number 77 right guard Trey Johnson was a one-man wrecking crew, earning his first trip to the Pro Bowl. Lining up next to Johnson was John Jansen, who along with left tackle Andy Heck rendered Washington nearly unstoppable inside the red zone. Pass-blocking expert Keith Sims rounded out a line that cut 98 sack total nearly in half and created such a comfortable pocket for Brad Johnson that he completed 61% of his passes. Johnson and the gang had a deja vu experience when they returned to Giant Stadium, this time to face the Jets. The line continued to plow open huge holes for Davis, whose nose for pay dirt sniffed out a remarkable eight TDs in just three games. He's got the football, left side, breaks it through, drops the pass, touchdown. Boy, did they blow him off the line of scrimmage. A second win in the Big Apple brought the Redskins to two and one. Hey, here we go, guys. Here we go. Every right. one of you now. Get his ass. The Redskins couldn't get their hands on Tim Biakabatuka early on against the Panthers and fell into a deep hole. 30, 20. Did Champ Daly get to him? No. Into the end zone. He's got the touchdown. 21 points in the first quarter they're going to have. Sure, that's what makes you want to say, That's perfect. That's what makes you want to say, So we're perfect. But once Brad Johnson and Michael Westbrook got in sync, Carolina's lead vanished faster than they could say the Yakabatuka. Goes to the end zone. Westbrook caught. Touchdown. Glory. Hallelujah. What a catch in the end zone. Stop right. play, man. Stop no, play. That's all we got to have right there. Johnson didn't play favorites and found his other target. Look at this. Wide open. Got a man. Even with 337 passing yards and 35 points, Washington still found themselves down by one in the final seconds. Brent Conway, the biggest kick in his young career. Hold is good. Kick is up. Long enough. That's good. Brett Conway's foot kicked the winning field goal, but it was Brad Johnson's arm that won the game. His acquisition from Minnesota provided the final piece for the Redskins' offensive puzzle. Minnesota to Washington is the place to be, guys. Washington is the place to be. For the first time since Troy Aikman in Dallas, Norv Turner found himself with a quarterback protege who had all the tools, the moxie to lead, the courage to stand in a collapsing pocket, the vision and touch to dissect a defense, the finesse to use play action, and the arm to stretch the field. Play action fake to Stephen Davis. Going deep for Westbrook. Got him in the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. But above all else, Johnson became the glue for an offense that struck fear into the hearts of defensive coaches. All day on. That's going to scare him to death, man. Scare him to death. Hey, I want a good show today. Keep the camera on Westbrook today, all right? The camera was the only thing that could stay with Michael Westbrook in his breakout season. Number 82 averaged more than 18 yards per catch, tying him for the league lead with teammate Albert Connell, who gave Washington as strong a pair of big play receivers as any team in the game. With tight end Steven Alexander adding another option near the end zone, the Redskin offense was... Too explosive. Too explosive. They can't stop us. Which was generally the case as both Westbrook and Connell each racked up over 1,100 yards. Now you see why they're the number one offensive team in the NFL. Stephen Alexander. He is some kind of athlete. What a move by Connell. He's a playmaker. You just got to get the ball to him. in a week eight offensive explosion against the Bears. Goes to the end zone. Westbrook. Can he 
catch it. He did catch it. Touchdown, yes. Washington Redskins. You know, you make a difference. Nice job, man. man. Pitch to Davis. Cut over the near side. Turns it back up. 30, 35. Breaks to the open field. 40, 45, 50. Turns behind Connell. 30, far side, 25. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. Wow, what a big run. 76-yard touchdown run. Washington scored in every conceivable way, on the ground, through the air, and a couple of ways a bit more unconventional. Matthews back, looking right this time. Hit, grab, in midair. 95, Dan Wilkinson, 30, 35, 40. High step into the 50. Daryl Green is with him. They're going to chase him. Daryl Green's going to get the way to die. Wilkinson scores a touchdown. Washington Redskins. <laughs> Probably the slowest touchdown ever. Run. Hey, he scored. Motion to the near Bumble. side. Bumble the snap. Johnson grabs it out of the air. Runs for his life. Far side. Touchdown. Washington hey. Redskins. Boy, when you're hot, you're hot. And the Redskins are hot today. The perfect offensive afternoon propelled the Skins to 5-2. and two. A lovely autumn Sunday was the setting for a first-place showdown with the Giants. What a beautiful day to take lead in the division. Beautiful day. And once again, it was Stephen Davis who led the ambush. Davis behind Alexander and Johnson. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. But it was the defense that controlled the contest, reporting four sacks and forcing five turnovers, including the game-breaking play. He caught the ball in the air. First place in the NFC East was now theirs, thanks to a suddenly imposing defensive line made up of Dana Stubblefield, Kennard Lang, Marco Coleman, Naduque Kalu, and Dan Wilkinson. The Redskins' front four consistently pressured the opposition with a combination of finesse, guile, and good old-fashioned smash-mouth football. I can't believe it. Are you kidding me? Take care of the man next to you. You do your job. Take care of your business. Win on three. One, two, three. And it wasn't business as usual versus Philadelphia, as the Redskins discovered the best option is to be both lucky and good. Mike Sellers off the deflection. Typical of the recent history between these heated rivals, the game went down to the wire, and in overtime, Washington quickly marched into field goal range. From 20 yards out, Conway for the win. Snap is good, hold is good, kick is up, long enough. Kick is good! For the second straight week, Washington's defense held their opponents to 17 points or less. Led by the stoic linebacking core of Sean Barber, Derek Smith, and Greg Jones. Though often overlooked, Washington's linebackers were key in the Redskins' defensive turnaround over the second half of the season, both against the run and the pass. Sets up the screen pass. Oh, picked off by a linebacker. The 35, he's gone. Going all the way to the other end. 30, 20, 10, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, Behind the linebackers, hard-hitting safety Sam Shade racked up a team-high 115 tackles. And alongside of Shade was one of the season's most pleasant surprises, safety Matt Stevens, who was the team leader in interceptions. But the anchor of the Washington defense was the ageless wonder, Daryl Green. In his team record 17th season, Green continued to prove himself as one of the greatest cornerbacks the game has ever known. With no signs of slowing down, he's also assumed the role of teacher. I gotta pass the baton off to young Champ Bailey. With Green as his personal mentor, multi-talented Champ Bailey made quite an impression in his debut season, starting every game and picking off five passes. It's Champ Bailey! And Bailey certainly proved himself the man when the Redskins paid a visit to Arizona. 
The rookie became the youngest player in NFL history to intercept three passes in a single game, including one which he took back the distance. Throws it near side. Oh. Picked off at the 40. Bye-bye. It's Jim Bailey going all the way for a touchdown. Washington Redskins. That game also saw the return of Larry Centers to his old stomping ground, and the team's reception leader didn't disappoint, helping to put the game out of reach. Play action fake. Johnson over the middle, back of the end zone, touchdown, Washington Redskins. The deflated Cardinals would get their chance for revenge in week 14 at FedEx Field. But again, it was Washington's defense that snuffed out Arizona and their playoff hopes. Inarguably, its finest performance of the year, the Skins yielded a mere 173 yards. They got nothing in there. They're hanging them backwards outside. We got to be able to walk the middle. And up the middle could only mean Stephen Davis. It's the Davis up the middle. Good hole. Brings it right side 40. Michael Westbrook got into the act with a 25-yard touchdown, giving him his first 1,000-yard season. Bust their ass. Let's go. No busting no ass here. This is And when Irving Fryer busted through the Arizona secondary for his first Redskins touchdown, Washington's eighth victory was secured. We win. We're, uh, we clinch our division, and we're in. It's for the money right here. It's for the playoffs, for the division. Just got to yeah. walk through the door, baby. Just walk through the door. Start the game like champions. We play like champions. One, two, three, three. Up the middle goes Garner. Head down into the end zone. Touchdown for San Francisco. Just relax and play ball. It's hard to relax with a division title on the line, but Washington eventually settled in behind Brad Johnson's career high. 471 yards passing. His one-yard plunge tied the game. But it was the 49ers who were driving for the winning score in the final moments. All right, Redskins digging in. Second down run of the left side. There goes a rookie fumble. 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 Redskins are down into the 21. In overtime, Johnson and coach Norv Turner left nothing to chance, picking apart the San Francisco defense with short, precise passing and clinching Washington's first NFC East crown since 91. 13-20 left to go in overtime. Johnson play action fake again, throws the out near side, 30, nobody there. Centers, 10, 5, touchdown, Washington Redskins. Redskins win and clinch the NFC East for the first time in six years. The Redskins make the playoffs. What it's all about, baby, hey. We won the division. Yeah. yeah. All right? But this ball belongs to only one person. This ball, the game ball, belongs to Norv Turner. Yeah. All right. No one knows how much this means. Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. And I know I know there's a bunch of guys who've been here with me for a while. What I tell you, the second half of that game will define this football team. Yeah. Well, you defined it, man. You defined it. Hey, we can, we can do, we can do whatever we want to do. If we set our minds. Hell of a job, man. Hell of a job. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. In week 17, Norv showed his old boss that he was doing just fine on his own. Ain't no magic to it. It's just BT for us. Just simple as that. One, two, three. Press it. In what amounted to a playoff tune-up, the Redskins relied upon their backups to easily handle the Miami Dolphins and finish the season with 10 wins. They were again the toast of Washington, but were not through dishing out thrills in the nation's capital. Sky Day programs! Who needs one? Who needs one? World Car Weekend, folks! My first playoff game here. Yeah. Be special. Playoffs right here, baby. Don't get no better than this. Playoff time, baby. Playoff time. Whatever it takes. We're in on three. One, two, three, win. From the start, the Redskins used their powerful ground game to pound Detroit into submission. Speed it, Steven. Beat it, Steven. Beat it, Steven. Beat it. Here 
goes Davis tripped up and still dives in. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. A satisfied coach watched his ball control attack stretch the margin to 20 points. Hands the ball off to Davis, running to the left. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. Stephen Davis with his second of the day, his 19th of the year. Nice job, man. Nice job. Keep the heat on. Playing with a lead, the defense teed off on the Lions, taking a shutout deep into the fourth quarter until the game was well out of reach. Boy, they are getting for right now. Right five, 50 slash six. All right, fly, 50 slash six. Come on, Brad, air it out. Johnson didn't have to throw very often, but his one touchdown connection did put the game away. Throws it near side for Cutler. If you haven't raked your leads, you can rake them down. This baby's over. That's as good a first half football as I've been around, man. That's a hell of a job. That's a hell of a job. As a total group, everybody, as a total group. It's a hell of a job. It's a start, huh, man? It's a start. A start which Daniel Snyder, Vinny Serrato, and Coach Turner built upon during this offseason. They began by signing one of the greatest players the game has ever seen, defensive end Bruce Smith. This sure first ballot Hall of Famer disrupts offenses like few ever have. And his blend of strength and speed have earned him 11 trips to the Pro Bowl and place him second on the all-time list with 171 sacks. Hey, baby. Are y'all convinced now? The addition of Smith's ferocious pass rush is just the thing this team needs to put it over the top for a title run. Joining Smith on defense will be safety Mark Carrier, whose hard-hitting, aggressive style of play helps firm up one of the best defensive backfields in the game. On offense, Washington signed the best insurance policy in the league as Jeff George becomes the most talented backup quarterback in the NFL. His skill throwing the deep ball is a perfect fit for this high-octane offense. Add to this an overwhelmingly successful draft. With the uh, second choice in the NFL Draft 2000, the Washington Redskins select LeVar Arrington, linebacker, Penn State. LeVar Arrington joins the Redskins as one of the most talented linebackers in college football history, where he played like a man among boys in his three seasons at Penn State. Perhaps most importantly, Arrington is a playmaker, doing things rarely seen on the football field. With the third choice, the Washington Redskins select Chris Samuels tackle University of Alabama amazingly the Redskin front office had procured the second and third overall picks and they used number three to add to the other side of the ball left tackle Chris Samuels comes to Washington with the size and power to be a dominating run blocker and with the technique and know-how to protect the quarterback's blind side evidenced by his zero sacks allowed in his senior season Arrington and Samuels may in fact be the final pieces in the Redskins championship puzzle. When the Redskins leave the tunnel for the 2000 season, it will be a unit focused on a single goal, forged in the mold of the men who run the organization and the city it represents. For on many levels, this team is not far from a trip to the White House. In 1999, an abundance of talent allowed the Redskins to take a big step forward on the long journey back to the NFL's elite. Now armed with an impressive array of off-season acquisitions, this proud franchise stands on the brink of returning the championship trophy home to Washington.